Mhm. Yeah. Mhm. Ak- do you want the echo? Sorry, we're listening to her. Oh, you don't want me to do the other thing again. Praise God. <laughs> <coughs> Precious, wise, and almighty God, Lord, we come to you, Lord, today, Lord. Lord, we're just asking you, God, right now, God, to bless our service, Lord, on today, God. Bless the ones that are here, Jesus. Bless the ones, Lord, that are on their way, God. Lord, we just bless you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord, this morning, God. We just thank you, God, for waking us up this morning, God. Bringing us, Lord, on our way to church, God. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. thank you, Jesus, Lord, for everything, for the sunshine, Lord, yes. for the temperature change, Jesus. Lord, just for everything, Lord. Lord, we just usher your presence in this place this morning, God. Lord, we love you, God. We thank you, God, for everything you're doing and everything, Lord, you've already done, God. Lord, if you don't do another thing, Lord, on today, God. Lord, we just thank you for what you've already done, God. Lord, we bless your name, Lord, in this place. We bless your name in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we just thank you and we give you the highest praise this morning, God. Lord, we're just asking you, God, to bless our pastor, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Touch him, God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Touch his family, God. Lord, just touch good hope, Lord, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, these things we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. And we all say, amen. Amen. Our congregational hymn will be number 308 in your hymnlum. Number 308 in your hymnlum. No, not one.
Praise God. No, not one. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for that uh, congregational hymn. We will now have the red word by Minister Kenneth Hall, followed by our, our morning prayer by Deacon Charles Henson. Praise God. Amen. Red word will be coming from 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. And it reads as follows. By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whosoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word are in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader and the hearers of his word. May he instill it in our minds and embed it in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask that you would bless our pastor this morning and his family. Bless the choir this morning, Father God. Bless all the ministers on the pulpit this morning. Bless the whole Good Hope congregation. Father, we ask that you would bless all the sick and the shut in. Father, we ask that you would go by the hospitals this morning. Reach out and touch the ones that are in the hospital with a spring of love this morning. Father, we just thank you. Thank you, thank you. Father, we had 10,000 thumbs. We couldn't thank you enough. 
But Father, we just say thank you this morning. Read this morning, Father, I have a heavy heart again this week. But Father, as we know, you're going to make it all right. I've been through it before, and you brought me through that. So I know you'll bring me through this too, God. This is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It right away because there's nothing on this train to lose. Everything to gain. Whoa, come along. Get aboard. There's nothing. Everything to gain. Whoa, the gospel train is coming. It's coming around the bend. You know what they did? Jesus said he was coming back, but he didn't say when. Oh, you better get your house in order and do it right away. Because there's nothing on this train to lose. Everything. Oh, come along, get aboard, there's nothing, oh, come along, get aboard. There's nothing All right, one last time The gospel train is coming It's coming around the bend Jesus said he was coming back Oh, but he didn't say when you better get your house in order and do it right away because there's nothing on this train to lose everything to gain oh come along get aboard there's nothing Train to lose everything to gain. Praise God. Let's give our Good Hope male chorus a pat. Praise God. Praise God for them this morning. We'll have our announcements followed um, by Sister Clarice Goodson followed by welcome and recognition of visitors by Minister Rex Henson, and our recognition of September birthdays by Trustee Bob Henry. Good morning, church family. Morning. Give an honor to God, Reverend Henson, pulpit ministers, church family deacons, deaconesses. I'm here to do the announcements. So if you will turn with me to the back of your bulletin, the announcements are as follows. On October the 2nd, 2021, at 1 o'clock, you are invited to a happy birthday drive through honoring Mother Blanche Mitchell. Please come out and support her. <laughs> birthday wishes. <laughs> On Sunday, October the 3rd, deadline at submission for all officers named 
for the new budget and calendar for next year. All officers' names are to be given to Deacon Willie E. Jones or email to his attention at uh, Good Hope Baptist Church. Um, okay, guys, y'all can read that. I'm not going to read it. All budget information, please give or email Trustee Bernard Coleman at bcoleman1625 at gmail.com. All calendar information, please give to, give to or email to Sister Carolyn Cash at carolyn.cash at live.com. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. On Sunday, October the 17th, now you gotta mark your calendars for this, our annual homecoming service. Good Hope Baptist Church celebrates 155 years. This is an outdoor event. Again, this is an outdoor event. Our guest speaker will be Reverend Dr. L uh, Stephen Lyons. Uh, Drive-through takeout plates will be provided, so y'all gotta eat that day too. Our sacrificial offering is 155, which can be paid in increments. That means little small parts, y'all. <laughs> for further information, contact Deaconess Nanny Staggers. Um, the thought for the month, patience with others is love. Patience with self is hope. Patience with God is faith. Please remember our sick and shut-in families and bereaved, uh, I'm sorry, please remember our sick and shut-in and bereaved families at the health care facility and at home. Okay, a couple other cards I have to read. And I have some other announcements also to add. Blessed are the servant-hearted servant who shine with the master's joy. Dearest Reverend Thatch, thank you so much for all you have done for our family. You stepped in when we needed you the most. For that, I am forever grateful. With much love and gratitude, Candace Lee. God knew what I needed most, and he called on your kind heart. To the members of Good Hope Baptist Missionary Church, thank you for all your prayers for our sister, Janet Louise Dunstan. May God continue to bless each and every one of you, the Dunstan family. This is one of those times when saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How's that? Sincerely, Sandra Hinton. Okay, that's it for the cards. A couple other announcements. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank those that have been working the doors to take temperature checks. We do need some more people to help out. Um, and what you would do, we've got a station here, a station in the back, a station here. If you can get here around 940, 935 at least, to take the temperatures, um, that would be a big help. But I, if you need help with uh, temperature checking, I can show you how to do it. But we do need more people because I don't want to burn our family members out. We do need people with temperature checks. This station over here is the Fellowship Hall. Um, this station is, we call the Deaconess, Deacon's Entrance. Our nanny has been working very religiously on that side. And I know y'all see her out there coming in the door all the time. But we need to give these folks a break. Um, back here in the back, um, in the foyer, what I call the foyer, you may call it something different. That station will require you to work a little bit longer most of the church time, um, but you can get the service by peeking through the windows uh, or maybe the last 10 or 15 minutes of service, but you will be able to get the service. But these two stations require you to work from around 9.35 until 10.15. Then after 10.15, you'll come into the church. So if you want to um, help us out, and we do need you to help out, please see me after church so we can put you on the calendar. And if we get everybody doing one day a month, uh, for that 15 minutes, we can rotate. We won't have to burn anybody out, and I really don't want to do that. Um, uh, again, thanks for those that have been working. I do really appreciate you for coming, stepping up and coming in. The second announcement, yesterday, as you know, we had vaccination day. We went over our last quota. We did 49 last time. This, this time, yesterday, we did 50, which is good. We are saving, we're still out there <laughs> saving people's life. That was our goal to get one more, at least go over from what we did before. Um, the young man is gonna come back out. Um, 
October 23rd, that is the Saturday after homecoming. And he's also, uh, we've also invited him to come to homecoming because he's doing a great service out here for our church family and, and uh, the community. So we have invited him back out. So we may be asking for a little donation or something to help him out since he's coming all the way from Rocky Mount to do us a service. But we, we can talk about that later. Um, again, uh, we have vaccines, we have the Moderna, the Pfizer, and boosters for anybody that needs to come out on the October, October 23rd, uh, if I'm not mistaken, from 9 to 1. So please come out and get those vaccines. Everybody really needs to take it. As you see, we're losing a lot of our people, um, a lot of, of our black people mainly um, are dying. So please, let's try to take care of ourselves and everybody else. Thank you for your attention. Good morning, family. Morning. Give an honor to God and their respect to Pastor Thatch. If we have any visitors here today, would you please stand and give your name, affiliation, and a brief comment if you would, sir. Amen. Hopefully you've come to the end of your journey looking for a home. Uh, on behalf of Good Hope and Pastor Thatch, uh, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, if you would like to, you are able to sit with the deaconess on the side. Uh, the latest uh, facilities are through this door. And if there's any gentleman that doesn't know where ours are, it's on this side. Once again, we thank you and we love you for coming. Come again anytime you wish to. And on behalf of Pastor Thatch, she allowed me to say to y'all once again, thank you for everything you've done for our family during this past time. Uh, thank you for celebrating my brother's graduation from walking to flying. Amen. So everything is good. Thank you for the flowers, the cards. Oh, God, the cards and flowers. Uh, thank you for everything. Good words, the encouragement. And uh, keep praying for us as we'll keep praying for y'all. Amen. Good morning, all. <clears throat> Give an honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pulpit associates, all church officers, members, and friends. As I present to you the September birthdays, if you are present when your name is called, would you please stand? and remain standing for the entirety. The first name, Joshua Allen, our pastor's grandson, September 9th. Deacon Bobby Barnes, September 9th. Keith Gilmore, oh, I'm sorry, yes. Keith Gilmore, September 10th. Barbara, jo Barbara Jones, September 12th. Martin Starsky, senior, September 11th. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Diane Ellison, September 16th. Alicia Brown, September 17th. 
Trustee Alfred Watson, September 17th. Deacon Elrod Morris Sr., September 18th. Fred Halls, September 19th. Deacon is Shirley Dedenham, September 21st. Clarice Goodson, September 21st. Anthony Lyon, September 22nd. Adams McKnight, September 24th. Clarence Zednam, September 29th. Lisa Dunn, September 29th. And last but not least, Blanche Mitchell, mother of Blanche Mitchell, <laughs> September 30th. <laughs> you can, <laughs> amen, amen. You can go back and be seated. <laughs> For your age, you deserve to sit if you, if you so desire. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday everybody, happy birthday to you. Thank you, Jesus. And I do say good morning to every heart that is here and to those that may be, uh, those that may be with us, let me just use this, and those that may be with us by way of social media or telephone, we're grateful and thankful to God for this another day that he hath made. And we're blessed that he hath uh, allowed us yet another opportunity uh, that I might say to yet be in the land of the dying on our way to the land of everlasting life. Uh, no, I am not Pastor John L. Thatch. Amen. Uh, I am Reverend uh, Anthony Henson uh, in his stead. Uh, just as far as remarks are concerned, they will be in the form of announcements. Uh, first and foremost, pray ye one for the other. Uh, I do declare we are needy people. Uh, my needs, my issues, my concerns, my trials, my tribulations are not the same as yours. And therefore, there is something that's different about us. However, even in the midst of that difference, uh, there's something that we all can agree on that we stand in the need of. And that is, thank you, say it again, Reverend. We all stand in the need of prayer. And so if you will be mindful to pray you one for the other uh, be in prayer with Pastor Thatch and his family. Uh, we did get word today that he had to take his wife back to hospital again today. And so we're in prayer, uh, not only for her, uh, for Sister Mary Alice Jervey Thatch, but for Pastor Thatch, John L. Thatch, for the family. Okay. Be in prayer with them and all those others we know that are going through uh, some form of illness. Be in prayer if you will, again, for the Hinton family. Uh, blessed uh, that uh, a brother and mother of Reverend Frederick Hinton are here with us today. But be in prayer with us also for death has not only knocked on our door, it's opened the door and taken another out of the Hinton family. Uh, Deacon Charles Hinton, whom you've heard earlier, who gave our morning prayer, lost a nephew this past week, a person of David L. Hinton. Uh, and uh, there will be a wake this coming Wednesday from 3 until 6 p.m. 
at Carlton Gray Funeral Home in Raleigh. That's Wednesday from 3 to 6. Then Thursday uh, at 2 o'clock at Carlton Gray will be the services. Okay. Um, if you will, we are grateful and thankful for the visitor that came today. To God be the glory. Uh, if it is that God declares that you should come back by this ray again, please, please, please come back and share with us again. Amen. 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 Grateful for uh, the birthday celebration that is forthcoming, uh, and that being of Mother Blanche Mitchell. Amen. 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 And, and do be mindful of that on October the 2nd. Uh, be mindful also, again, as was in, it's just a reminder of what you have in your bulletin of October the 3rd being the date to get in your uh, budget and your calendar and officers. Uh, as well as October the 17th, I didn't forget you, Deacon, uh, Deacon Stack, I didn't forget you. Uh, October the 17th, homecoming, 155 years that the Lord God hath blessed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, it is an outside adventure. Uh, we're going to be outside. The Reverend Dr. Stephen L. Lyons shall come and break to us the bread of life. Uh, there will be uh, some, uh, some food, but we also are expecting great things financially. Uh, those of you can and will, $155. Uh, and then, uh, as also noted, and she didn't say it real so much, but as Sister Goodson, Sister Clarice did note, those who can and are able to, I do understand everybody's not able to for health reasons, but those who are, can and are able to, Please, please get vaccinated. And uh, that's the end of what I have to say on behalf of Pastor Thatch. Uh, we're grateful again to God for all of his many rich blessings seen and those unseen. Uh, I'm now turning this back over into the uh, hands of our uh, uh, presiding uh, minister, Lady Goodson. Praise God for all of our announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. At this time, it is giving time. Amen? Amen. We're going to ask our deacons to come forth in order to lift our offerings. Our affirmation of giving is on the inside of our bulletins. Shall we stand? Our affirmation of giving is 2 Corinthians 9, 6, and 7. Our affirmation of giving, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according to his purpose in his heart, so let him not God grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver.
all things come of thee. be seated. We will have our uh, sermonic selection by our Good Hope Mill course, followed by the word by our very own Reverend Anthony K. Hinton. First of all, church, we're going to give thanks to Jesus this morning from being here this morning, allowed us to see another day. You know, when I sang this song, I, thought about, I think about the 12. They all went and got a bless. Jesus blessed them all, and they went on their way. But only one came back, turned around, and said, thank you, Jesus. When I sang this song, that what, what makes me think about it. Jesus. Said I woke up early this morning My heart was beating right on time I said, oh Lord, I truly thank you From opening up the eyes of mine Then I went over to my window And while looking through the shades Once again I had to tell him Thank you, Lord, from let me see one more day. See, the sun was brightly shining. The wind was blowing not too strong. In a treetop just a few feet away, I heard a robin singing a song. I don't know what he was singing. And pretty soon he was on his way. Who can say he wasn't singing? Thank you, Lord, for let me see he one more day. And everybody ought to be thankful and And everybody ought to church. Cause if a robin can say thank you, you can do it too. I said I woke up early this morning. My heart was beating right on time. I said, oh Lord, I truly thank you from opening up the eyes of mine. And then I went over to my window. And while looking through the shade, once again I had to tell him, Thank you, Lord, from let me see another day. And everybody ought to and be thankful and, and everybody ought to, Lord, cause if a robin can say, Everybody ought to and be thankful and and everybody ought to yeah cause it's for rock everybody ought to and be thankful and and everybody ought to Lord, cause if a robin can say thank you, you can do it too, you can do it too.
will you bow your heads in a moment of prayer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour, Lord God, I need thee. Yeah. Oh, bless me right now, my Savior. Lord God, I come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come. I come to thee. Can we try that one more time, if you don't mind? Uh, Sister Hyde Smith and, and, and Sister Harris, if you will, please. I need. Yeah, 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 yeah. The O. Oh, y'all can hum along. Y'all can hum along. How do you need them every? Yeah, 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 yeah. What you need them to do for you? What do you need them to do? Oh, bless. Yeah, 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 yeah. When? When? I come. I come. Oh, try that. I come. I come. I come to thee. Spirit of the living God, it is again your children come now at this time, in this season, right now, God, yet but to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, because we're going through trials and tribulations. But there's no other one we can turn to. And so right now, God, we cry, I need thee every hour. Bless me, Lord. Decrease me now, Master, that thou might get the increase. Decrease your children, Father God, who sit waiting to hear a mighty word from you. Decrease us, God, and fill us even the more with your Holy Spirit right now, God. Let us hear with spiritual ears. Let us see with spiritual eyes. Let us think, Father God, with spiritual thoughts of your word that never changes. New visions, Father God, of your unchanging word. Father God, we come to thee, and for this, God, we say thank you. Thank you. God for being here with us during this season. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. It's in the only name that really matters. It's in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name. Your children declare, Amen. And Amen. Thank you so very much, uh, music ministry, Sister High Smith, Sister Harris, and Brother uh, Stars guy, I didn't forget it. I've got to forgive me. It's, old, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. But we've got to give the, give the drum a little something, 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 something. So thank you so very much, Brother Stars. Thank you. Uh, to Pastor Thatch in his absence. Uh, we are in prayer with him and his family. Uh, I'm grateful and thankful to, that he has allowed me this opportunity to come and to stand behind the sacred desk. Yet but to preach uh, some good news in this ever-dying world. Uh, to deacons and deaconess, our trustees, our officers, to the disciples, members, visitors, again, we're grateful and thankful for you being with us here. Uh, I have family that is here with me. My mother is here uh, today, grateful and thankful to her. Uh, I have been blessed to be adopted uh, over again uh, into my family. And uh, uh, minister, if you will, please forgive me, but uh, my adopted mother is here. Okay, it's all right. It's all good. All right. And the person, share and share alike. All right. Bless you. Uh, my adopted mother and the person of Sister Virginia Ruth Hinton is here today. I'm grateful and thankful to her. Amen. Our friends that are here today, and uh, if there be any foe, y'all heard this before, if there be any foe, if I have any haters, whether they be in the house, if they be on social media, if they be on the telephone. Because uh, uh, y'all do understand you got haters. You don't, everybody don't like you. Okay, well, that was a, that's a reality check for some folk. But everybody does not like you. 
I praise God for my haters. Uh, let me try it this way. Let me give you some little scripture. I'm going to the, I'm gonna get to the word, and it's not going to be long. I, I guarantee you it's not going to be long today. Uh, so, so nudge your neighbor, nudge your neighbor now, and tell your neighbor the preacher said wake up. I guarantee you, it ain't going to, you blink, you done missed it. I, I guarantee you. Uh, y'all do it this way. Y'all go in Wendell, going down Riley Hill Road. Y'all blink. Y'all don't miss Lizzie Lick. I get to clap. Uh, but, but look, for my haters. Y'all do know we're supposed to love our haters. We're supposed to pray for folk. Y'all get, okay, let me give you some scripture. St. Matthew 5, 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Here's the other part. Pray for them which despitefully use and persecute you. I, I'm grateful and thankful for my enemies. Yeah. What does it do? It keeps me in communication with God. Yeah. The, it's right there in the text in Matthew 44. Pray for, okay, well, never mind. We're going to go to where we're supposed to be at. Uh, thankful, thankful and grateful for them. Again, uh, uh, for my uh, cousin who's not here that she may be listening in to Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. Good morning, good old family. Good morning. Amen. Grace and peace be unto you, my father's children. Uh, and it is, uh, 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 go forth in our sermon today that uh, uh, we're in celebration mode today. And we're celebrating, uh, first and foremost, God. Bid us to be here, but then we're in celebration mode of Pastor's Aid Ministry. We're grateful and thankful to this ministry, a uh, very capable uh, president of this ministry, the person of Sister Blanche Mitchell, and we're Mother Mitchell, and we're grateful and thankful for you. Amen. Uh, as we go forth now into our sermon for the day, I would that you turn your hearts and your attention back to the scripture that hath been read in your hearing today. Thank you, uh, Reverend Minister uh, Kenneth Hall, and he read for you out of 1 John. Uh, the third chapter, he read verses 16 through about 19. However, I would that you kind of focus your attention just for a little while on verses 17 uh, and 18. More specifically on verse 18. Just for a little while. Now, y'all remember I said, you know, it ain't, it's not going to be long. Not going to be long. You, I, I guarantee you, you may yawn on me today, but I declare you're not going to snore. It, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> It, it ain't going to happen. You're not going to get no daydreams out of me today. All right. Verse 17. Verse 17. First John chapter 3, verse 17. I'm reading uh, from the New International Version. Uh, I'll, I'll do it both ways. I'll do it both ways. From King James you have, But whoso hath this world's good, see if his brother have need, and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So if you got NIV, you got this. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them. Question, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speak but with actions and in truth. As we celebrate this pastor's aid ministry uh, today for a few moments in God's time, think with me, pray with me, if you will. It's not going to be long from the thought, help from loving hands. Help uh, from loving hands. It is again that we've come this Lord's day in celebration First and foremost of celebrating uh, the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done and all that he is doing in our lives. All that he continues to do for us. And then we are here in celebration of this great ministry of pastor's aid. Great ministry of service, if you will, here at Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church. We're honoring our uh, president and the person of Mother uh, Blanche Mitchell and all of its uh, our officers and the members of this great ministry and we're thankful unto God for the service that you give to our pastor and not just to him but also to his family uh, seeing that pastor has what he needs physically watch this and spiritually uh, robes that are cleaned and gloves and towels that are washed and candy dishes full and 
then encouraging words and supporting and uplifting him, but above all, praying, praying with and praying for him and his family. So we're grateful and we're thankful to God for these uh, and so many, 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 many or more services and acts and actions that this pastor's aid ministry provides. The reality, though, is that all of that this pastor's aid ministry does, they do it with helping hands of love. So it is, we've come in celebration thanking God for this ministry, for the service that they render, uh, service that's done uh, is rendered out of love. There's an old saying, there's an old saying that, that, that kind of rings true, actions speak louder Oh, y'all can talk. Y'all got it. Y'all got, got the sermon already, so y'all know what it is. So y'all are making, thank you, Holy Ghost. You made it so it's easy for me today. Reality check. That's what's needed in today's society. We, we, we're living in treacherous, trying times. Just, 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 just reality. Y'all know all about it. Uh, so health issues of COVID-19 and all of its variances. We're still bombarded with blatant attacks of police brutality. So our African-American brothers and sisters, both young and old, are needlessly killed by the very ones who swear an oath to protect the innocent. And if that's not enough, we still face uh, with black-owned black crime where young black men between the ages of 18 and 30 are needlessly killing each other. There's racial injustice of our black and brown-skinned brothers and sisters. There's elderly abuse that targets every ethnic race. Our nation is faced with economic downfall. Many are either not able to find work or have been fired from one job, laid off of the next job, and can't get hired on the other job. Major businesses and corporations are closing, leaving people without jobs and means of support for themselves as well as for their families. These and so many, many, many more trials and tribulations and issues and concerns that are present on each and every day of our lives, they cry out for help. They cry out for help, and that help needs to come, beloved, by way of love. Help that is uh, that, that's the foundation of love so that, that we can we can maintain some sense of realities in these uncertain times and even the more help uh, that its foundation now is of love so that we can function so that we can live in some sort of normal lifestyle in the midst of this ever dying world. One thing, beloved, that we do note in the midst of all that's going on around us on a daily basis, actions do speak louder than words. Because the reality is that, we are, we are in need of some help to sustain us throughout uh, all that we're going through so that we can survive these perilous times. But the reality is in all that we do, we actually need some help to do it. And, and here's the reality, in our own human form, in our own human nature, there really is but so much in the natural that we can do. We need some help from someplace else. We need the help of some loving hand. Our text today, our text today, and, and, and we're going to be finished in a few minutes. It's almost over, y'all. I told you, I told you it wasn't going to be long. I told you, wake up. I told you, wake up. The text today in this New Testament book of 1 John, it's a letter written in the first century uh, by a man uh, by the name of uh, John. He's a Christian. Uh, and he declares, uh, uh, he declares a few things. He, he focuses on salvation in this, in this book for 1 John. Salvation from sin, uh, remaining true to the Jewish tradition, and keeping the community intact. And here in these verses of today, where we're reading from today in our text, specifically, John here is making mention of the importance of love towards one another. And he asked the question, he asked the question, uh, in all of our society with how, all the material things that we've got uh, and all of the riches that we have, he asked the question, 
In other words, he says, but whosoever hath this world's goods and seeth his brother that hath need and shutteth his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? What, in other words, what good is it for you to have or for me to have 10 pairs of shoes I ain't got but two feet? Okay, we'll try it this way. What good is it for me, really, really, be honest about it. What good is it for me to have two houses, but I can't live in them but one at a time? But what good is it if I have clothing, if I have food, if I have other material things that I'm not using right now, and I know for a fact that my neighbor that's right beside me is in need, and I don't give. I keep it all for myself. I, 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 even if I don't know, even if it is that we live in a society where we don't even know who our neighbor is next door sometimes, but yet and still we know everything that's going on inside the house. <laughs> but yet, I can't give nothing to them. Well, but, but, now watch this. I still declare, look at the text, it's right there. I declare I'm a Christian. But I can't share nothing with nobody else. Oh, well, I'll try it this way since that didn't work out too good. What does it profit a man to gain this whole wide world? Yeah. Then mess around and lose his and lose his soul. All right. This love thing, this love thing involves that part of sharing with others. But uh, uh, sometimes, somewhere along the way, it gets to the point where uh, we as Christians, as, as individuals, have got it that all I need to do is say, uh, I love you. And that's good enough. Okay, well, there's a problem with that, beloved. There's a problem with that. Reality check. Love is an action word. It, the text here tells us that we need to go deeper than just saying I love you okay that's a part of it that's a part of Christian life it is that's a part of it of, of saying however uh, Christ was one uh, of uh, or he's one of action huh? and, and if we declare that we're Christians Christ like then we got to show some sign hmm uh, we, 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 we can't be selfish if you will uh, with what we have and keeping it all and hoarding it for ourselves. I, and, and say, yeah, I love you, but I know that you need, and I really ain't got it right now. And, you know, I'll get it to you later. You got to give. It's more than the speech. It's more than the talk. You got to do the talk, but you also got to do the walk. Okay. That, 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 that's what the text here is, Cain Provisions full of material things and people who are greedy and stingy. Uh, and that, what that does is it makes us to be idolaters. It makes us me and one that they, we, we worship the tars. We worship all of the shoes. I worship all of the ties that I have. I, I, I worship all of these things, but I don't give out of my heart to those that are needy. I neglect my fellow man and treasure what I have just for the mere moment. Uh, this love, this love that, 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 that the writer here is dealing with here, it involves more than just sharing of material things. It involves more of just telling somebody that I love you. It more, it's more, it's more, it's, it, it's an action word that goes deeper. And watch this, it goes deep down into our hearts and pierces our hearts and goes deep into our souls. It, it involves, yes, when we bring forth this action of love and we help somebody else, yeah, we're using our hands and we're using our mouths. But uh, the reality of it all is that it, it, it's deeper than that. The text says that it's heartfelt and it's coming from God. And if it's coming from God, that's deeper than mankind. There's something about the love of God that dwells within each and every Christian so that when he or she gives out of love, they give out of heart. They give out of heartfelt love, that heart that God hath birthed into them. Yeah, I'm giving with my hands, but watch this. My hands need some help as well. 
Where is it that the help comes from that makes it to be so heartfelt, that makes it to be about love? Well, well, it's right easy. It's right there in the text. It's right there in the text. At the beginning of the text in verse 16, uh, that was read in verse 16, 17, 16 was read. It comes from the love of Christ. It's right there in the text. Yeah, I know I told y'all to look at 17 and 18, but uh, uh, the text was read from 16. It comes there from the love of Christ. Understand this. Look, 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 look with me. Watch this. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Everybody's hands are different. And the reality that check, we got to go deeper. We got to look at your hands. Walk with me for a few moments. Walk with me for a moment. Look at your hands. Uh, 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 some hands might be small. Some may be fat and thick. Some hands may have some calluses on them. Feel your hands. Feel your hands. Some, some, some may be hard. Some may be soft. Some may be smooth. Some may be delicate. Hands are used for a whole bunch of material in the natural for a lump of things. Sometimes we take the hand and ball it up and hit somebody and strike them. Uh, sometimes they bring comfort. Sometimes they're soothing like a massage. Uh, sometimes they may hold and grasp some things. And sometimes they may give and sometimes they may take. Sometimes they may help to lift some, something up. And sometimes they may help us to carry. But our hands, beloved, when it comes to the love that is shared between Christians and others, these hands that we have, they need some help. Because what we've just done is we've just described some natural things. We need to put it into the spiritual form. And therefore, our hands need some help. And where is it that that help that we can need, that our hands need, comes from? It comes from the, comes from the cross. Look at the cross of Calvary. Look at the cross of Calvary. And when you look at the cross of Calvary, that's where you're going to find the help that's going to help you so that when you share with somebody else, you're just not doing it because, well, there, I guess I better help this person over here because, no, it's done out of the heart. It's done out of love. And it's found there on Calvary's old rugged cross. Look, look, look at the cross. Look at Jesus as he's got his nails pierced into his hands, beloved. Nail-scarred hands of Jesus. Look at them, beloved. Look at those hands of Jesus, huh? Look at those hands that, uh, of Jesus, the one who was crucified on Calvary's old rugged cross, the one for, uh, who was whipped, the one who was beaten, the one who was battered, the one who was bruised, the one who was whipped all night long, and they wrapped him up and placed him in Joseph's new borrow tomb. Look at those hands who, on the third day morning, got up, beloved, with all power in his hands. Power to heal. Power to save. Power to deliver. Wonder working power from the hands. Helping hands of love. Where did the love come from, beloved? Glad you asked. It came from that nails pierced in his hand and the blood that came streaming down. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Question for us all today, beloved. Have you been touched by the hands of the man who, from Galilee? Who Have you been touched by the hands of the man who calmed the raging sea? Have you been touched by the man who raised the dead, raised Lazarus from the dead? Have you been touched today by the hands? Has his blood come on over your life today, beloved? Heal today, beloved. By the blood of the Lamb, set free today, beloved, by the hands of the blood from the Lamb of God. Have you been broken? Your chains, I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Have you been touched by the blood? Are you shaved today? New creature, old things passed away. Behold, all things have become yet as new. Have you felt the mercy of the hands of the man from Galilee? Uh, if you have, if you have, if you, I told you it's almost over and it is. If it is, here's what I encourage you to do today. This Lord's Day, go forth and tell somebody of the goodness of Jesus. Reach out. And 
touch somebody. Reach out. Don't just go past the homeless one and look at them. I'm so sorry. Knowing for a fact you got five in your pocket and you got 25 back at the house. Does you no harm to give it to them and don't worry about what they do with it. Okay, we'll try that again. When you give, don't worry what they do with it. And then, once you give in the physical, while there's an opportunity there, share some good news with somebody else. Oh, share some good news with us. So I encourage all of us today, as we celebrate this pastor's aid anniversary today, I encourage all of us to continue to render service to everyone that stands in the need of everyone that we meet, uh, or that we serve everybody with love. Yeah. And not just our own little special love, but agape love. I, I encourage us to share with others good news of Jesus. That's what this is a pastor's aid ministry does. When they share, when they, when they give, when they, when they we come forth and they ask pastor, what do you need? It's done it's I've done out of the heart. Beloved, use some heartfelt love. Put your hands, because our hands by themselves can do nothing. Put your hands in the hands of the man from Galilee. The blessings of God be with you. Now to the close, uh, uh, shall you all stand? I don't know. Uh, Sister High Smith or Sister Harris, you have something that we can share. There may be one today who really does not know this man from Galilee. Somebody that really just has not put their hands in the hands of the man that calmed the raging sea. Does not know this man that heals, this man that can deliver, this man that can set you free, this man that can break bondage, one that really does not, has not been saved. If it is that there's one, won't you come? Won't you come forward, just give your hand to the preacher, but give your heart to God. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get right with God, yeah, yeah. Do it now, yeah, yeah. Won't you come? Get right with God. He will show. Where, where, where? Right down. Yeah, yeah. Well, what did he do? Jesus shed. Mm. Get right. Get right, get right. Everybody, everybody, get. Is there one? Is there one? Tomorrow is yet not promised to any of us. Road's not going to be easy, but God's going to show you how. Yeah, 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 yeah. So shed his blood. Yeah, get right. Get right, get right. And man, I'm going to ask as you stand, we're going to go into our intercessory, our altar call. Just stay right where you are, those of you who can and will. If you need to sit, it's all right. I'm going to ask if you will, if Deacon John Rents will come and give to us our, uh, our form of altar prayer, form of altar prayer uh, at this time.
Shall we pray? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Gracious and eternal Father, we thank you now thank you, Lord. Thank you. for all your many blessings. Thank you, our Father, for allowing us to come in a place of this kind where we can sing praises and give adoration to your holy name. Thank you, our Father, for looking beyond our faults. Thank you, God. And for seeing our very very needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, our Father, for allowing us just to be present this day. Yes. Now, Lord, we need you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We need you. We need you in our hearts. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We need you in our lives. Well. We need you when we go out. Jesus. We need you when we come in. Yeah. Lord, we need you. And we found out that we can't get along without yes, you. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You have what we need. Jesus. In the hollow of your hand. Yeah. So, Lord, we said, have mercy upon mercy, us. Lord, we pray for mankind all over this land. Thank you. For whatever the need may be, Jesus. for whatever the condition may be, Jesus. Lord, you know what we need, much better than we need ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Lord, have mercy upon mercy, us. We pray for this entire congregation. We pray, our Father, for our pastor, for his family. Jesus. We pray for those that are going through for various reasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, we pray even for ourselves. Jesus. Jesus. For we all go through from time yeah, to time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we all need you Jesus. at this time. Well, so, Lord, have mercy upon mercy, us. God. Now, Lord, we ask that you would just bless us Lord. in a way that only you can. For we realize, Lord, that we can't do anything without you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't even walk Jesus. unless you hold our hands. Yes. Well, well. So, Lord, have mercy, mercy upon us. Bless us now, Lord, and keep us. You, Strengthen us and take care of us. Yeah. Be with us, Lord, as we shall depart from this place. Well, well. Bless us, our Father, now and take care of us. For we ask it all in Jesus Christ, our Savior's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for his sake do we pray. Yes. Amen.
the Lord God is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes. Amen, 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 amen. If you will, if you will, just give God a hand clap of praise if you can and will. Amen. Amen. Again, we are grateful and thankful for this day, for this great ministry, Pastor's Aid Ministry. Thank you so very kindly. Mother Mitchell and all officers, disciples there, be kind and be mindful to be in prayer, one ye for the other. Amen. Now, if you will, let every heart uh, pray as we go now for the benediction. Uplifted hands and bow down heads. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Present you faultless before his throne of grace. To the almighty, all wise, everlasting God, our Father, be glory, be honor, dominion, and power. Henceforth now and forevermore, the children of the living God sing together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Go in peace.